everybody, Chad back in the shop, and today I'm still playing with the Laser Pecker 2. And I'm doing rotary, and today I want to try engraving on metal, specifically copper. This is a copper pen tube, and I want to see if I can actually engrave on it. Because, because up to this point, uh, you'd have to use a fiber laser or something much stronger and much more expensive than this little guy here. So what I've got ready is I've got this set up. I've got it adjusted to the right height. I took the protective shroud off with the exhaust because I want to have the two cameras be able to come in here and see this. So I wouldn't recommend having that off if you're using one of these, but for the purposes of the video, I am going to do that. So let me show you what we're going to do. Okay, so we are going to try to engrave this lion and you can see I'm in the app here. And if you haven't seen the previous video, I would check that out. It shows how I use the app. But I've got this lion loaded up, and I've got a piece of copper in here. I have no idea if this will work, but I wanted to try it. I'm going to set this. Uh, I'm going to preview it to see where my... You can see that blue line, hopefully. That's where my engraving will be on the... the tube and I can move my rotary back and forth to center it. My up down, my Z is already set so I'm going to leave that as is because I'm ready. Now I'm going to do two more settings in here. I'm going to set the material. Maybe there's actually a copper. Uh, there is no copper. Ooh, so I'm going to go with stainless steel although I don't know if that matters. I'm going to go ahead and go 100% power because I don't know what it would actually take to do this, but I figure it's going to need a lot of power. Depth is automatically at 100, so let me hit the start button. Okay, so it is lasering. It is at least making an attempt. So it's going. Now I don't know if it's doing anything to the actual material, but I'm going to give this a minute. And uh, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and fast forward this so you can see it, but don't have to wait the whole time because this is a high resolution and it's going deep. So I don't know how that'll actually work. So let's go fast and I'll catch up with you in one sec. Okay, so the question is, did it engrave? And... It did not. So it's hot. Oddly enough, the tube is hot, but copper is not the right material. I do wonder if it could engrave on stainless steel or a soda can because those are in the list of materials to engrave on. So I think that needs to be our next step is let's get a soda, not a soda can, I don't have one. Let's engrave on a piece of stainless steel. Okay, so I've got the lion ready to engrave on some stainless steel. That was the preview. I'm gonna put my glasses on and we are ready to go. So it is marking the stainless steel, which I would not have guessed. So that's actually pretty cool. This is gonna take just a minute. So let's speed this up just a hair. So that took four minutes and 30 seconds, but, ooh, it's hot. You can see it marked the stainless. Now, I wouldn't say it engraved it. Uh, there's a name for this, and I don't know what it is when it marks it, but essentially that's what it did was mark the metal. So the Laser Pecker 2 can mark stainless steel pretty well. Four minutes and 30 seconds for this little lion head. Uh, you know, on a fiber laser, this probably would have taken about 10 seconds. However, you have thousands of dollars versus like under a thousand dollars for this. So uh, not bad and potentially some uses for this. So that was pretty cool. Hope you enjoyed this video on the Laser Pecker 2 lasering on stainless steel. If you want to win this laser, like and comment, subscribe to the channel. And we will be giving this away. We are about done playing with this thing. 
So get your comment in and we will be giving the sucker away.